everyone and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video we are going to be doing another collab with Lizzie. So I thought we would do the XX Revolution one and we are doing the Expectation one. So this is the pink one. Um, it looks like this inside. It looks super pretty. Um, yes, yeah, so we're going to do this via palette bingo. So Lizzie sent me a message um, where she randomly number generated the colours I have to use. So it's 8, 13, 6, 17 and 5. So I don't know if you guys will be able to see that. But I will insert it some, somewhere here. Which numbers they are. And then she's got another set of numbers which I generated for her. So let's just jump straight in to the video. So first it is number 8. So 3, 6. So it's a sparkly one. And then 13, which is this black, 6, which is like this pink. To be fair, that's quite decent so far. Number 17 is this brown. Mm, that's not bad. So that brown here. And then number 5, which is that. So I think we can definitely create a look. So let's jump in. I'm having to like refer back to the numbers. Right, so I'm going to go into the number six, which is just there. And put this all over my lid with a Morphe 441 brush. So it's like a peachy brown, like a pinky brown. So the next one I'm going to go in with is number five, which Lizzie picked out, which is like this. And I'm just going to blend this into where the pink is, just so I'm using all the colours. Good God knows how this is going to turn out. I'm going to go into the shade 17, which is this deep brown shade just there. And I'm going to go book, and I'm going to go into this with this like Urban Decay, the one that you get in the palette. So I'm going to go into it like with the like more tipped. And I'm just going to apply this to the outer V. And then I'm going back in with the Morphe 441 brush and I'm just going to blend this out. By the way guys, I don't know if I'm 100% doing this right. This is my first time doing palette bingo. So, sorry Lizzie if I get this wrong and fudge it up. I'm just gonna try and build it up one more time. Just see if I can get like a nice color. Yeah, so that is the sh um, that brown shade. It is buildable, but I don't think it's like the best, easiest brown to build out. But to be honest, I'm not blown away by this palette anyways. I think there's a lot of... The red and the white one, I feel like, are a lot better. 
So I'm going back onto my phone to see what I have to, what number I can use next. The one I'm going to go into is we are going to use this shimmer, which is number 13, just there. And I'm going to go into this with a Real Techniques brush, which looks like this. And I'm going to go use some, I'm going to use the MAC Fix Plus for this. Um, I'm just going to have it there just in case I need it. There's not a lot of fallout, but there might be fallout from my eyes. Yeah, look at that. Super nice. I like that. I think I usually use a denser brush, which I'm just... Yeah, I'm going to go into this Urban Decay shader brush just because it's there. And it's one of the ones that doesn't need a wash. And I'm just going to put some MAC Fix Plus on it. It doesn't need it, but I just want some just for the like extra wow. It's kind of like a shimmery gold green. Like it's got some gold and green like reflex in there. It's a really nice colour. Yeah, I really like that. I always find that excess shimmers are quite good, especially for the price. Right, so I'm going to go back in to that brown shade that I used, number 17, and just use the same one that I used to put it on in the first place. And then what I'm going to do is take this Morphe E29 brush and take the black shade, which is number 13, just here. And I'm going to put this into like my lash line, press it in. I'm gonna have to build it up some more getting just here. Guys, this brown is not like my favourite at all. I feel like every, it's like very patchy and once I like blend it out it just turns to nothing which does my head in. That's just how it's gonna have to be for now. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go off camera, do my other eye, apply some lashes and then come back. We'll do my lip together and then I'll tell you guys my final thought on this palette. Hello everyone, so I'm back. So I thought we would just quickly go in and do my under eye. A lot of my brushes need to be washed, so I'm like having to find the brushes I wanna use. Yeah, this is just like an Amazon cheapy brush. It looks like this. And I'm gonna take that, this horrible shade. I think it's shade 17. I hate it um, in here and just put this underneath my eye. It doesn't seem to blend out. And then let's just pop some mascara on. This is a Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara. See, this is my eyes done. It's a, yeah, for palette bingo, I think I've created quite a nice look. Um, although I do really hate that brown, this brown shade. It's so dry and every time I was blending it out, it was going patchy and the colour was disappearing. Um, even on my other eye, I've noticed it. But all the rest of the colour is super stunning. It's not my favourite of the palettes, it is really pretty um, and if you're more of like a neutral, soft toned girl then you would really um, like appreciate this palette. I think my favourite one, the red and the white have been my favourite so far. So let's just go in and do my lip. I'm using the Huda Beauty Liquid Matte, um, the nude collection in the shade Bombshell. Thought we would do something different. So basically, um, you guys might see me a different light now, but my camera died and I was just finishing my lipstick. So basically, I applied that Huda Beauty shade in Bombshell. Um, this is the finished look.
it's super pretty and um, super wearable like everyday glam maybe if you go like attending a lunch when everything's open obviously not at the minute but yeah even like a valentine's day staying in look it's lush so yeah obviously me this is mine and lizzie's collab lizzie is such a lovely lovely soul we speak all the time she's such a good friend since i've um like gotten to know her so obviously go and check out her video see what she's done with her palette bingo and then we will see you in our next video together i will see you guys though in my next video bye